Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 39 of my King Tiger and Berg Panzer Diorama build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Firstly, let me just say thank you very much for your patience, guys. These last couple of weeks have been a bit rough, but we're out the other side now. Bonus. Anywho, let's get some spraying done. I'm going to be spraying some of the parts that need to be sprayed white. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we go, that's those parts sprayed white. I think we're starting to get the spraying of white down pat. But I better not get too cocky, you know what they say. Anywho, let's move on shall we? I suddenly realised that I hadn't done the drive wheel connector. Oops. So I thought, hmm, better get those ready for priming, hadn't I? Here we go. Where are they? Nope, not in there. Or there. Oh god, I've gone and lost me polycaps. Balls. They'll appear at some stage. Anyway, time to move on. I'm going to be removing some more parts from the sprue and getting them ready for priming. Here we go.
There we go, that's those parts ready for priming. Let's pop those in a stand. Now we can move on to prepping the tracks for priming. So, let's get that crack, shall we? Okay, now we can hang those tracks up and we can prime them later. Next, we're going to sort out this upper hull and lower hull connection. I want to be able to remove the upper hull from the lower hull so people can see inside at the work we've done. But it's been a complete and utter mare. Anyway, I'll go through what I do as we get to it. So, here goes with the first part, testing fitting. As you can see, the upper hull is about 2mm too wide. So, let's go to rectify that. How do I do that? I take my razor saw to it! Am I really doing this? Yes I am. Oh. Yes, I know. That's a panel line scriber. The saw comes out in a moment. Now I have a line scribed deep enough, I can now use my razor saw. So here we go. Fingers crossed. And now for a quick test fit. Ooh, that's still too tight. Now I'm gonna have to ease the bucker back out. What could possibly go wrong? Let's find out. Absolutely nothing, you little face. Now for more fettling and thinning to get the fit right. Let's get this done, shall we? Okay, I need to take this front plate off and get it sorted. Gently, gently does it. There we go, that's off. Now to carry on with the fettling. So there we have it, that's glued back in place. And with the magic of editing, that has now dried. So let's carry on. Mm -hmm. 
Even after fettling, I'm still getting this large gap between the upper and lower hull. Hmm, how am I going to fix this? At this point I'm really getting annoyed. I got what they call target fixation here. I've got, got it in my head that the issue was with the upper hull. But looking at it through the video, it might just be the lower hull that is also part of the issue. I'm going to have to revisit this. Anyway, I broke some parts off. The headlight, which I'm going to use wire to re-secure it, and the front gun protector. So let's get those glued back on, shall we? There we go, that's all the parts glued back on. Now, let's get that dirty big hole filled. I did think of using sprue glue, but because of the size of the hole, I mean, I thought I'd better use styrene card. So, let's get this hole filled, shall we? That's the vast majority of the hole filled. Now to pack it out with a bit of sprue glue. All sorted, we can let that dry now. Next we have to clean the backs of these ammo racks up as you'll be able to remove the turret to see inside here. So I want to get rid of these uh, sink marks. So let's get this done, shall we?
And there we go, that's those sanded back and sprue glue added to fill them up. We can leave those to one side to dry now. Anywho, this seems like a good place to end. So, thank you for watching episode 39. If you want to see what happens in episode 40, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.